in this video we'll see what is Tableau and uh, we will have a quick POC or demo to see what capabilities we have in Tableau. So Tableau is basically a business intelligence tool which will help you to connect to your data and then you can have different kinds of visualizations created which will help you to understand your data or it will help you to get insight out of your data and the Tableau tool is very easy to use it is just drag and drop tool so any user uh, who knows basic graphs any user who knows Excel can connect to Tableau and can work on the data with the simple graphs even Tableau, you can have advanced graphs created in Tableau to understand the complex insights out of your data why we use Tableau because it is very easy to use as I said it is just drag and drop tools so you don't have to write any script no technical uh, IT knowledge is required for creating dashboards on this tool plus it is very uh, faster tool as compared to other tools so you will get best dashboards in very less time with less resources with Tableau we can connect to different spreadsheets we can connect to different LDBMS databases, cloud data or big data. Even with Tableau 9.2 we have web data connectors where you can connect to HTML file, we can connect to JSON file and get data in Tableau and then we can once the data is in uh, Tableau tool we can just use this underlying data to create different visualizations. Along with the basic visualizations you can have some advanced graphs created in Tableau like parody chart, like waterfall chart and starting from 8.2 version we have Tableau and R connectivity so R is very rich statistical programming language and we are integrating this R with Tableau to have some of the statistical analysis done through Tableau tool where R, the engine will be running on R so we can have different functions like creating outliers sorry finding outliers clusters predictive modeling can be done in Tableau visualization using R and Tableau integration part. Along with that Tableau has some uh, pre-built, predefined maps which will help you to identify the geographic locations and you can show the distribution on the map using maybe field map or maybe symbol map which is, which is there directly in Tableau. But along with that starting from 9.2 version we have map box integration in tab so you can have your customized graph maps created and you can use these customized maps directly in visualization using tableau and map box integration now when we talk about tableau products we have different tableau products based on your requirement we'll be using tableau desktop for creating different visualizations by connecting to data sources then we have Tableau server on which will publish all these created dashboards. Tableau server will work as central repository where you can publish all the dashboards and any user who wants to see the dashboard will log into server and can access to individual dashboard. So using Tableau server you can restrict users access, you can add users, create projects and define their access level security. Tableau online is a shared server which is maintained by Tableau company so you can just log in on that server and then you can just uh, start publishing your dashboard you don't have to worry about the maintenance and other server related issues. Tableau reader is a free version where you can see dashboards created in Tableau desktop using Tableau reader without using any of the server part. Along with that we have Tableau Mobile, so if you want to access any dashboard from mobile device you can use Tableau Mobile. Like that based on our requirement we have different Tableau products. Now why Tableau is becoming popular because every year in February we get Gartner's report and in 2013 first time Tableau came in latest quadrant you can see here and then in 2014, 2015 and 2016 we have Tableau is in leader squadron. As Tableau is coming in leader squadron since last four years Tableau is becoming more popular in BI domain and a lot of users are using Tableau. So this training Tableau training model will cover Tableau 
connection with databases. So in this training, we'll be covering connecting Tableau to different file systems, different databases. And then we'll see what are different basic visualizations we can create in Tableau along with the advanced visualizations. And then we'll have dashboard creation on top of different graphs which are created. Plus some actions, drill down options uh, in Tableau. And then we'll see some different concepts like creating groups, creating sets, creating calculated fields, parameters, which will help you to get some advanced things in visualization using Tableau. Group. Along with that, we'll see some of the uh, new features which are Tableau R integration, we'll see Mapbox integration and uh, visualization and then once our dashboard is created, we'll see how we can share this dashboard online and offline with different users plus the best practices in dashboard designing and we'll see what is storytelling feature, how it is used in Tableau to explain something step by step to convey your findings to end user followed by Tableau server and admin activities. So the overall course will cover Tableau dashboard creation, Tableau designing and then server activity plus admin activities. Now quickly we'll see how uh, Tableau is working. So this is the Tableau 9.2 environment and I have connected to one of the Excel file in Tableau 9.2. So I can show you how it is uh, just drag and drop tool and how easy it is to create anything in Tableau. So let's say in this data source I'm using sample superstore data which comes with Tableau installation. So I want to find product subcategory wide sales. I can just drag this product subcategory and sales here I'll get the bar chart. I can just sort this bar chart, I can label it quickly. If I want to color it I can just color it by let's say sales value so it will color it based on the column which I'm using and this show me section will help you to change the perspective. So if you want to change the graph you just need to click on this graph and then the overall graph will change based on your show, show me selection. So that's how we can create a different simple graphs in Tableau. If you want to have a trend lines we have this order date column. We'll get this trend lines created based on the columns which we are using. Now if you want to find the strain line with respect to different ship modes, so we can just add the ship mode in color and then we'll get three different train lines based on each ship. If you want to change its view, you can just change it into area chart quickly. So like that you can have a quick uh, different graphs created in Tableau by just drag and drop. Now we are talking about different maps which we have in Tableau. So if you just get the state column which is a geographic location. If you click on field map, it will directly show us the field map with all the underlying data. And then we can bring the sales column to find which particular state is giving us more sales. If you want labels, we'll bring these labels along with the sales value. And you have different palettes to change the color if you want to change its color. So I'll change this to red blue diverging. And then the overall graph will change like that you can have different graphs created using tab. Now we'll bring them on a dashboard. So we'll just get these graphs on one dashboard. And your overall dashboard is ready. So we'll just name this dashboard. Dashboard 1 with three different graphs. Now if you want to have some actions applied on it, we can just click on this use as filter and then this your selection will apply filters on different graphs which you have on the dashboard. So like that Tableau is very easy in terms of bringing interactive. You can even have filters on second graph and you can bring two filters at a time. So right now I am using California as filter and then second filter is on shipping. So like that we can have multiple filters applied to have drill up drill down functions. We can have different dashboards created and we can have navigation buttons applied there. So Tableau is very easy tool where you can just drag and drop and create multiple graphs 
basic graph along with that you can have some advanced graphs created using Tableau by just drag and drop you can have some transformations created using calculated fields you can get inputs from end users using parameters so the training the uh, training is covering all these topics where you can understand how to create different dashboards on top of your data and how you can bring interactivity with that so that's what we have covered in the tableau training part you can just go through the training and then uh, you can understand all the basic and advanced functionalities of tableau using this tutorial thank you